Hi guys, it's me again, <laughs> with even more awesome stuff. Um, so We're looking at the accelerator pedal and Jackson, how you got the data from it. Uh, totally. And the uh, linear so, regression you did. Here's the deal, is an accelerator pedal has six pins, which I um, have done here. Uh, with uh, the closest one is five volt negative um, and then a read, five volt negative and a read. That's because there's two potentiometers here. Uh, the first three are potentiometer and the second three are potentiometer. Our goal is to make our computer pretend that it's an acceleration pedal so that instead of having to manually push on the accelerator pedal for autonomous driving, we can just enter in you know, um, whatever value we want for the pedal and uh, that'll be it. So we have to pretend that we're two potentiometers inside of this thing in our computer. Now, um, here's the issue though, is the potentiometers happen to have different values. For example, um, you know, like when on the first potentiometer might be something like 0.7, da 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 da, 1.14, and maybe the second one is like 0.10, da 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 da, da 0.20. So we have to pretend that we're two different potentiometers um, and if they are different at all, the car will think that something must be wrong with the accelerator pedal and totally stop. So, um, how do we pretend that we're an acceleration pedal? Well, the first thing I did is I hooked the acceleration pedal up to two Arduinos, um, which uh, you basically each potentiometer up to an Arduino, you could think. And I read the values, and this is what I got. How come you use two Arduinos, not just different read-in pins? So the reason that I did that is because I do not know a lot about electronics and I did not how to know how to supply uh, five volts of power to two different things using one Arduino. Okay, so you just used two Arduinos? Yes. Okay, and you used analog read-in pins? Is that what you used? I did analog read-in for the uh, part that is the read-in. Uh, okay. For, that is the, um, the, the potentiometer change -y value part. Yeah. So um, what I did then is I wrote a program um, and I have it here, it's hidden because it's a very dangerous program. If I run it, I'll lose all the data I just got. Um, but what it does is it says, here are the two Arduinos. Um, and why don't we just, for one to 100, we're going to read the voltages of, um, that are being put in by the acceleration pedal. And during the course of this one to 100, I just slowly push down the acceleration pedal. Um, now after that, what I did is I got these values, um, which is plotting, oh, what? No, no, it's impossible. Okay, well, it turns out that I lost the values. <laughs> just now. Just now, but um, what I got was something that looked like a really, really good um, line. Uh, which was that basically there's a linear relationship between one potentiometer and the other one as expected because both of them are linear, just weighted differently. Um, and it turns out that MATLAB has a very, very easy um, regression um, function, which is that if you take your matrix and, and push the little divide thing by the other matrix, you actually get the regression coefficient. So I basically uh, took those two data sets and I found the regression slope between those two. And that means that if I uh, pretend that I'm one potentiometer, I know what, exactly what to multiply my value to make myself pretend I'm the other potentiometer value. And they also happen to both meet at zero, which is awesome, which makes it even easier. So um, the last thing that I'm doing now is I just set up a function called accelerate, or ec, I guess. And what it does is it um, pretends that I'm the first um, that this will write to the Arduino with the value X, which is supposed to be the first potentiometer. And the second guy multiplies the slope that I got from the linear regression to pretend that I'm the second potentiometer. So here's the value of the first potentiometer, and here's the value of the second potentiometer. Now, word for the Ys, if you're using MATLAB and you're trying to, I learned today that if you, you can't just directly write, uh, put these things in, you have to define, um, the Arduino, and I guess also the regression slope that you have as a global variable in order to pass them into the function. And that's kind of it. Okay, so these pin ins and pin outs, you have them going directly from Arduino power into there's two power ins and two ground outs. Yes. And then there's two values. Yes. And the values are going to analog read pins, one on each Arduino. Mm -hmm. And how do you run two Arduinos at once? 
Oh, I just used two different USB ports in my Mac. And that worked? And it totally worked. Um, in MATLAB, what I had to do is I had to learn uh, what ports they were coming out of, and I just put, here's my code. Um, I said, do, do, do. it's my dangerous pedal code, which I shouldn't even still have open. Um, A equals Arduino, and this is the first port. B equals Arduino, and this is the second port. Um, and that's, and after that, I just, you know, Arduino, MATLAB has it so it's really easy to specify uh, within these functions which Arduino that you're talking to. Highly recommend doing Arduino through MATLAB instead of through Arduino, because Arduino's software is kind of weird. Okay, and then to plug this into the accelerator, uh, into the car, and yes. rev it, okay. you actually just use jumper pins from the Arduino. Well, here, I got it right here for you, Joe. Man, it's so like Mise en Place, like cooking show style. I feel so prepared. So, right here, we have um, what we're going to be putting in, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be using a PMW digital right. Um, so I have it on my little PMW settings. And what this guy is, is this guy would plug directly into the acceleration pedal. Um, I do not give it positive because it doesn't need it. Um, you just need to have the ground and the value that changes with the potentiometer. Um, I don't know why that is, but the Lords of Electronics said that that was true. Um, so basically what it is, is it's set up the, obviously the exact same as the acceleration pedal, so it plugs into it. Um, this first three is a potentiometer, so the second one, so this one will go to, um, ground, this one will be the read, this one will go to ground, this one will be the read, and this is going to be what sends our signal from the computer right into the acceleration pedal. And we saw this rev two weeks ago, but I believe the evil plan is later today to have the engine hold at, uh, part throttle right. and so then uh, maybe go through a scale but with long delays per incremental throttle. So it's to verify to Joe's satisfaction that we have part throttle controllability. Right, well that's why I've written this function and, and put a little bit more time into the into the software part is it's going to make it so we can say exactly what value we want it to be live. We don't have to like say it's going to go up and down and up and down. If you say I want it to be accelerating twice as fast, we just put twice as fast into the thing and it will go twice as fast. For the epic. Thanks, Jackson. Yeah.